Welcome back, this is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Go ahead and share the page, like the page, and share it with family, because this is very important information about diabetes. Today we're going to talk about type 1.5 diabetes. This is uh, not well known within the community or people who have diabetes, but 1.5 is an autoimmune condition. So let's go ahead and talk about this. So it's called latent autoimmune diabetes of adulthood, right? And it's called type 1.5 diabetes, and then for short, it's LADA, L-A-D-A. Now, people don't realize uh, when patients have diabetes or adult onset diabetes, it's not just about what they eat and what kind of diet they had or sedentary lifestyle they had. It could be an autoimmune process going on. Right? Much like type 1 diabetes, which is diagnosed much earlier on in childhood, 1.5 can be diagnosed later on above the age of 30. Okay? So let's go into some of the facts. Type 1.5 diabetes looks like type 2 diabetes right? because it starts in adulthood. And then 10 to 15% of type 2 diabetes, the adult onset, may be actually 1.5 diabetes, the autoimmune version. So there's a lot of people who have diabetes, but a good percentage could still be just an autoimmune condition, not because they eat poorly and have a poor lifestyle. Now, 1.5 will start at, at an age above 30 typically, and 1.5 diabetes destroys the cells that produce insulin, okay? So when you look at 1.5, it's basically type 1, but it starts in adulthood. The autoimmune condition does not manifest early on in childhood. It comes on later on. And this could be due to environmental factors, infection, and those types of things. But you have to look at these patients who come in. Uh, they're not obese. They have a relatively good um, healthy eating habit. They exercise and they're relatively thin and fit looking, right? Yet, they have diabetes and they don't understand why. Those are the patients that we wanna check for autoimmune conditions, right? So how do we go ahead and check to see if we have type 1.5 diabetes rather than just adult onset diabetes? The antibody testing, right? So you can check to see if you have the autoimmune condition. The first antibody is called GAD65 antibody. Number two, ICA is islet cell antibody testing. And then the last one here is zinc transporter antibodies. Those three markers can help you decipher whether you have regular old diabetes, that you had a poor lifestyle, you had a lot of sugar, you don't exercise, you're sedentary and so forth, versus I'm thin, I work out, I try to eat well, but I have diabetes. Then you need to run these tests. Another test you can run is the actual insulin antibody, right? These are all labs that you can run through your traditional labs, through Quest or hospital labs or LabCorp, right? It's not some special test that you can run through some specialty lab. It's a regular lab that you can check. So when you suspect someone has adult onset diabetes, right? You're looking at the classic example of a thin person who exercises and eats relatively well, yet they develop diabetes. Then you wanna go ahead and check the antibodies to make sure they don't have that. Or if they do, the management will be different. So type two diabetes management is just eating less and exercising. But those people, it doesn't control their diabetes. The type one, uh, type 1 1.5, it doesn't control their diabetes. Eventually, things like metformin, those types of medications might be prescribed, yet the diabetes will continue to progress because it's an autoimmune condition. So you have to address the autoimmune con uh, condition by finding triggers. Is there chemical issues? Is there infection, right? Is there something that's affecting the pancreas or attacking these antibodies or these um, cells in our body? It's important to find those things out so you can help manage someone who has a autoimmune diabetes or a adult onset diabetes, okay? 
My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Go ahead and share and like the page. Uh, this information is very important to a lot of people. Okay, have a great day.